And I'll pull that one off. Set it over here on the ironing board out of the way. And I'm going to grab the magnetic one for the Solaris. And that the one that fits the Altair would also work on the Solaris. And the nine and a half by 14, it just the Solaris has a slightly larger boot. It's 10 and a half by 16. And what I like to do when I after you get the center, there's a way to reduce the bulk of it hanging over the machine towards you. And what I'm going to do, so how I position my hoops from this point forward, right in front of me, I have it positioned the way it's going to slide into the machine. Okay. So then I'm going to rotate this as much as I need to to keep the least amount of bulk over here and towards me. In other words, I think I can get one, two, three. There's the top right there. Come down a little bit. Gotta come out some right there, right there. That'll be close. I may not get that, but I, I know I can get these three pedals right here in one hoop. Okay. That has to come out. Anything laying on the hoop. Let's go ahead and take them out. And each time I hoop, I'm going to swap machines. Just to give them all a chance. I'm just going to gently pull on it. Just to get it nice and smooth. You really can't do this with a regular hoop. That's one reason I like these so much. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to just quickly check the back of it. Make sure there's not a wrinkle back there. Nope, that looks good. Okay. And with the magnetic hoops, you don't have to worry about loosening or tightening and all that stuff. And it's all good. So I'm gonna go back to the machine. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go back to my home screen and get rid of all that. Because I'm gonna have to rescan once I get it attached. And let me get my needle threaded. It's always a good thing to do, right? <coughs> this is probably my, uh, I don't know if I would call it my most favorite feature on baby lock machines, but it's that autom it's that push button needle threader. <laughs> it's one of, it is one of my all time favorite features on these machines. The reason I bought mine, yes. Was for that feature? Yes, sir. That I have I can't see to thread a needle. Well, they make a wonderful thing that fits on our machines. That helps and that's this. That's the baby lock magnifying lens set. And it fits on both the Solaris, the Altair. How does that fit on? Is it easy? Oh, yeah, yeah. It just, just like that. One hand. Awesome. See that little, oops. This right here? Yes, sir. 
that there's a little hole right up here on all those machines, including the crescendo. And that will just snap. It just slides right in that oh little gosh, hole. I have the crescendo. I didn't know I could use it on that too. That's all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it then. Yeah, it's an awesome thing. I love it. You can use one magnifying lens or both. And then if you don't want to use it, you, it'll just swing up out of the way like that. That That's wonderful. Yeah, it really is. I love, oh, I've always loved magnifying lenses for the machines. And I was so happy last fall when Baby Lock came out with that one. My next purchase. <laughs> just go to your local Baby Lock retailer and they can get that in for you. Thank you. Or you can give them a call. Yes, you're welcome. How will Richard sent you? <laughs> I will do that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I do not get a commission, but I just like getting my name out there. <laughs> That's all. Okay, so I am back here at my home screen. Now, of course, on the Solaris, it has the built-in camera. So all I'm going to do is go to IQ, and I am going to select. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to select the hoop. That was the circle and box, the stamp pattern menu. Let me just go back. <clears throat> this little right here it has a circle in the box that's called the stamp and pattern icon. Click on that, click on the hoop, select the hoop size that you're using and select on okay. Okay. And now it's ready. I'm ready to scan in the image. So up here at the top, I'm going to find my leaf and select image scan. These other two things will add stitching to the image. And I don't want that for this. We just want a background image. And then you're going to select scan. Now, if you had the same hat and chain rehooped and you just wanted to start do another area without rescanning. You could click, let's see, here on your machine. And there's the one I had in earlier. So it will save some of these images once you scan them in to the Destiny or the Solaris as well. So I'm going to hit the scan button. The frame will move to be scanned with the built in camera. Select OK, and now it's going to take that picture. It's going to scan in everything inside the hoop. <clears throat> of course, with the Altair Meridian right now, you would be hooping and taking the picture with your IQ positioning app and wirelessly sending that to your machine. Okay, now let's just pull that image up. There we go. Now then, up here is our slider, the one for the Altera Meridian and Destiny are right down here. But I'm going to darken that up one notch. There, that gives a pretty good definition of it. You can even see. When I blow this up, check it out, you can even see the previous stitching. See it? So it's really easy to line up your stitches on the previous line of stitching to move forward. Go back out to 100 for right now. Because first, before I drew, do any drawing on here, I want to set this up. Here is my region, my line properties. This is what we want here are the line properties. Here. 
So the line properties. Okay, so, so we're gonna go up here to our line properties settings page, and we're gonna select our lightning bolt, and we're gonna select the no sew icon. That is a zigzag stitch with the red line through it right here. Okay, I like that. You know it's correct because then all your thread colors turn, they gray out. You can't select no color. And click on OK. And now, as you can see in my window, I have one, two, and three full leaths that I can design on now. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start, let's see, I'm going to start. You want to do the one that's underneath the others last. So I'm going to do this smaller one first right here. So I'm going to go to 400. And the reason is you won't have to outline each leaf separately because they can share the no sew outlines. So it makes it a little easier that way. And I'm going to go down to right in here. I see a boo-boo I made. I should have extended this area and got that little triangle in there, but you know what? That's okay. It's all good. So I'm going to start right over here on this line of stitching. I'm going to select my Thunderbolt. And on the Solaris, you click on that, it puts a red box as a starting point. The next stitch has to be outside the red box, the next place you click. And now I'm just putting the end of my pointer right on top, or right exactly next to the previous line of stitching. Okay, just follow the curves around, easy peasy. used to have time to do a lot of this. This is something I love to do. I can sit here for hours and hours with breaks, mind you. <laughs> but I can sit here and do this all day long. I love doing this. It's relaxing. Now I'm going to follow this petal because I'm just going to draw around this one petal to start with. Okay. And you can, on the Solaris, you can use the hand. See, here's my line. Or you can, to make this, to go back to drawing, just click on your drawing tool over here at the, light, the lightning bolt. You can also move around by using the sliders on the side and the bottom. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to keep coming down with this, coming on down. And now I'm going to slide it down using the slider on the side. If you accidentally hit next to it and it does that, then just hit the, the undo button. And that's really close to the same color right there, so you might need to darken it up just a hair. You can see it a little better. Go back one. Let's see here. I'm darken it up even one more now. There we go. Now I see that definition where that color change is. Now, and I'm not looking at the line I've already drawn. I'm just looking where I'm going. Okay. I'm going to slide it up. Yeah, I'm going to take my hand. It's a little easier with the hand, I think. 
So now I'm going to just get it up here and get it angled over to my starting point. And then it should be done. Let's see here. It didn't do any of that right because I forgot to turn my pencil on, eh? Did I go back to a hundred? I'm gonna put my image, take my background off, make sure that drew out, and there it is. Now you can see it. Now, why this little box is in here on the inside? That is from my embroidery screen, the size of hoop I chose in there. That's all that is. It won't stitch out or any of that fun stuff. So. That first petal is now done. Now I want to do this other one. You want because this this leaf here goes in behind these two. So the one that goes in behind the other leaves is the one that you want to do last if you're doing multiple leaves. So next I'm going to totally outline this one. And then when I do this other one down here, I won't have to go around these curved edges. That'll already be done. I just have to start here, come around to right over here. Okay. So next is this one. So I'm going to go back up to 400. And I'm going to start it right here. Okay. And I'm going to select my lightning bolt. And I'm going to get started here. Oops. Now, what it did do, you notice how that line's coming back? Check this out. So what I got to do, I have to undo that. I'm going to select the paintbrush down here. That got rid of that continuing line. And now I'm going to select my lightning bolt again, and that lets me start fresh. Not sure why that did that. It shouldn't have. So I'm going to test something. Oh, I see why. I see why. There we go. Now it's finished. <laughs> okay, I didn't finish my previous slide. That's why I did that. Oopsie. So now I'm going to go back over here to this next leaf, that's this one right here. So I'm gonna go around my previous stitching to start, pick the lightning bolt. And you can see up here, there's no stitches past that color. That means it's no sew. If I had a stitch selected, it would show up right here. So I'm going to select and start right there in that little corner. And I'm just going to slowly go around this outside curve. You know, depending on how sharp the curve is, you might want to take smaller little steps, little clicks, but that's how you follow a curved line, whether you're doing the Hoffman Dream Panel or even like a curved applique shape or a curved, any type of curve, this is how you do it. I'm going to follow my other curving up here. And I'm just going to follow that on up and around until, let me see where I'm at here. Drop down to a hundred. 
And right there is where I want to start making my curve away from the center. So I'm right there at that spot. Right there, it's gonna follow right along that line. We darken it up some, there we go. So now, I'm gonna come out this way. And just come out around this way. Outlining that leaf, nice and easy. Now you can see they kind of match the color here, but I can see right here where I'm headed. So just a nice little curve over to that. Oh, helps if you pick your lightning bolt back up. There we go. There we go. I'm going to scroll it over some. Come on down. Little hand is nice. A lot of times I will use the scroll bars and the Solaris. Depends what you get used to. It's all good. Now we're going to keep coming this way. This is where that leaf is that goes in behind. We're not ready for that one yet. And then we'll darken it up one more. And again, now I can, get, I can see that definition a little better. Okay. I'm going to scroll over. Mike is in the kitchen making homemade pork and cabbage egg rolls. And oh my God, do they smell good. <laughs> Sounds yummy. Ooh -wee. I got the, I bought a pork loin, about a four pound one. And I got the meat grinder out and I ground up the pork, the fresh pork. Then I froze three bags because so I put it like in one pound packages. But boy, howdy, does it smell good in there. <laughs> I fixed dinner last night. I made calamari and, and sushi <laughs> and hot and sour soup. So, okay, so that one's done. Now I am going to... Scroll back out. I'm going to turn down off my background image. Now I can see my two shapes there. So I have one more to go. One more to go. I'm going to bring my image back up a bit. And now I'm going to go up to 400. And this time I'm going to turn off my lightning bolt. I want to change that. I still want my nose so on, but I'm actually going to use icon number three, the straight line pencil for this one little area. You'll see what I'm doing when I go back and I'm going to select OK. Because what I'm going to do, this little triangle here, I want to close it off on this one end. I already have lines coming down in between, and there's a little channel in between them. So I'm going to back out. It's pretty pale. And I'm just going to take this one line, and I'm going to start it and overlap it. So it's not going to be perfectly on top of it. It doesn't have to be, because these lines are not going to stitch out. You know what? I'm going to undo that and I'm going to pick a different one yet. I'm going to pick the first pencil. And since this is not super long, I'm actually going to go up to 800. There we go. And I'm going to scroll over. Now I just want to draw along this, this previous line of stitching. So watch what I do. 
I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, select my pencil, hold down my left mouse button, and I'm going to slowly just trace it right along that line. There. Now that end should be closed right here. Now I'm going to go back out to 100 and it's closed. Now I just have to trace from here around that one petal. But I'm going to do that with my lightning bolt because it's got a lot of curves in it. <clears throat> so I'm going to select the line regions, the line properties, icon number four, the lightning bolt. And as before, I'm going to go up to 400. And I'm going to start this one all the way over to the right, right here at this intersection. See right there? And I'm just going to select it just past. Let me think here. Yes, just past. Oops, select the lightning bolt on the other side of this line so I know it closes good right there. There we go. And I'm going to come down and outline leaf number three. Undo that one. There we go. We darken it up one more shade. Oh, that's better. And now I'm going to scroll it down. Use my hand icon. Oops. Undo. Here we go. Helps if you select your pencil. <laughs> Helps a lot, as a matter of fact. <laughs> that one's a little harder to see, so I'm going to darken it again. And again, and again. Then I'm going to look at it. Aha. Uh -huh. So this one actually, when you actually look at it in the hoop, and I do that a lot, I'll bend over the hoop while I have IQ up and study it to see where this is all looks like all the same color right here. So I'm going to make it so that I'm going to use this on this other petal that I'm not going to stitch out as a guideline and give it a nice curve over to that instead of it like that. So what I'm saying is I'm going to go right here to this point. I'm going to lighten it up one now that I know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to imagine this line just coming right on up like this and finishing it out. And I'm going to put it over my previous drawn line here so I know it's sealed really well. Now, it's want me to go that way, back to the start. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this brush down here. See how the red line went away? And now when I pick my pencil back up, that ended that line, that line of drawing. So it's an easy way to get around that. So now I'm going to go back out to 100%. And there are my three areas. So what I did with this little triangular area, let me zoom up so I can explain this. What I did right here, I hand used the pencil and hand draw that with the mouse just to attach these two areas. Now this is part of that leaf. And I had done that on one of my previous samples we saw earlier. So that little triangle right there, there's a little channel in between those leaves. So when I fill this in, it'll automatically fill that in and make it match. So now we're ready for the fun part. I'm going to put that up one notch. Now we're going to go to the regions property menu. 
and I'll select on the fill stitches. Now on the Solaris, there are 42 different ones. That's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because there's 42 different ones. It's a bad thing because I'll get lost here and play with 42 different, different designs if I let myself. So, what, I'm, what do I want there? Let me think. So I have three different leaf designs. I'm gonna just close out of this for a minute. So I have three different leaf designs and I want, I want to use three different designs. That's what I'm gonna do. You could, you could totally use just one design for the entire panel. I personally don't like to do that. But I also have to keep in mind what those designs are going to be touching. So, and this is just where your own creativity and artist, artistic vision will come into place. So, I want something here, the two leaves that are touching the center, I want something that is going to contrast against it. So, that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to select Regions Property, Select, and I'm going to pick a design. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't, since the circles are geometric, I want something with a more fluid design in it that's non-geometric. So I'm going to use number one, all the, the Designs 1 through 15 on the Solaris are the same as designs 115 through the Altair Meridian and the Destiny 2. So I'm going to select number 1 and click on OK. Click on OK again. I'm going to turn my bucket on, the region bucket. And I'm going to touch just inside of the small leaf. So there's that. If I Tone this down, you can see it so much better. So there's my small leaf. Now I'm going to do this, the one next door to it, but I'm going to pick a different design for it. I'm just going to pick number two, I'll select on OK. I'm going to touch the inside of that. My fill bucket is still on. And there's that one. Now I want to pick something out here for this one that will contrast well between those two and the center because this little tip is going to go down in there. So I'm going to select my menu setting again. Now, which one do I want? I want number. I'm going to leave all of these at 100% just because I can. I think I want, do, 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 do. I think I want, no, I'm going to make this easy on myself. I'm just going to start picking them in numerical order for, for mine. Y'all do pick whatever you want. That'll just, for me, it'll eliminate me wanting to look at all of them. <laughs> so number three is next. Okay. Okay. And there's number three. And you can tell in that little triangle the difference a little bit. Boy, that, that those really blend in, though. Look at that. I don't like that. I can't do that. So I'm going to go select something else for that one. <laughs> uh, let's do this one and see what this looks like. Yeah. Still not happy. Select. Sometimes it's better to do one at a time. Because when you hoop, can hoop and do three, then, but that's part of the fun, getting to play with it, right? So here we go. I'm going to get the fishies. I like those fish. I love those little fishies. I'm going to change that one to that. Well, at least that looks different. <laughs> And we're going to try a different one here. Richard? Yes. So, let's see here. 
Let's do the clamshells, see what that looks like. I'm digging that better. So you'll get to see a few more, something else I'm gonna do to these. I'm gonna rotate these inside the leaf once I get to the next screen. The Altair Meridian Destiny, you can do the same thing. And I'm gonna select one more different one. <laughs> Those would look cool. No, not yet. Let's try a different one. Let's try that one. Yeah, no. Let's try a different one. Let's try that one. See what that looks like. No. Try a different one. I'm close. Just one more to get get picked out. Okay. That one. This will be a good example of rotate, because all three of those I'm going to rotate. So if it has a, a line, a pattern in it that's directional, I like to rotate them so that the patterns kind of go out from the center and towards the tip of the leaf. It's three o'clock. So, and what that looks like, we're going to go, I have, I'm going to keep these three patterns for these three leaves. So I'm going to select next. Okay. So Altair, Meridian, Destiny Owners, your controls are down here at the bottom. And the first, I'm not going to change the, the size of them. They're going to stay 100%. Now, on the Solaris only, you no, on the Solaris, the outline is default off but i want them on on each one of them so that's the first thing i'm going to do I'll make sure my outline is on and i'll have to do this for each of the three areas <coughs> excuse me each of the three designs so the next thing i'm going to do with the fish is what we're working on right now this one right here so see the one with the the angle on it this is how you can angle these designs. So I am going to do, I want them to go 90, one past 90 degrees would be pretty close. So I'm gonna try 105. I want my fish pointed out towards the end of this leaf. I'm gonna select okay. Now on the Solaris, it automatically previews it and look at that. That was pretty darn close. There's the tip, there's the center. That's what I want. Now, <clears throat> on the Solaris down here at the bottom, it's default to stitch out just like the Altair. However, you have a choice of having it thinner stitches. Thicker thin, okay? And that's a choice that you make as the fiber artist, as the quilt maker. The thinner thickness actually resembles long arm quilting. It resembles more like long arm quilting is the best way I can describe it. There's nothing wrong with that thickness. For this panel I'm working on for this class, they're all gonna be thick because I'm using it on two different machines and I want the thicknesses to match. So, I'm leaving my thickness on thick. And then I have everything set here that I want to set. Now I'll go over some of these other settings in a future hooping. So the two arrows, 
I want to select the next area and it selected my small leaf right here. Now I get to turn my outline back on, click on OK. There it is, leaving that at 100%. Right now I'm only using these top three icons. This is what all, all of the machines have. Zoom, angle, outline. Okay, my outline's on, that's at 100%. Now I am going to probably turn this, let's see, I want it to go down this way. So I want those leaves running down the, so what I would envision to be the center of that leaf for this small one. So I would say close to 90 or 105. Let's do 105 again. That worked for the last one. Let's see what that does to this one. Nope. It's still kind of horizontal. That took it way too far. So I'm going to back that one up. Let's go back to 75 and see what that looks like. Well, that's closer. I'm going to go back a little more. Let's go back to 60. And this is just a matter, that's really close. I'm going to try one more at 45. I may come back to 60. I like that. Well, I like that one even better, though. So 45 worked for that. But now you can see the long lines in that design are going down the leaf pattern. Okay. And I have my outline on 100%, 45 degrees. That one's done. i got to click on this next arrow again by the chain. And there are my clamshells. Now I want my clamshells. I want the curves, the curves of those clamshells. I personally want them on the outside edge of the leaf. So I'm going to rotate them probably at least 60 degrees. So 100% outline on. And I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to try it at 60. The other one was 45. Let's try this one at 60. Let's see how this looks. Nope, not enough. It's still to the side. It needs to go further. We go 90. See what that does. Still further yet. No. Let's go. We'll try 120 on that one. And that just happens to be perfect. It kind of looks like fish scales now going out towards the center. There's the tip of my leaf. So see how I got those going down that way? Pretty cool. So I have my outline on 120, 100%. I'm leaving my thickness the same on all of them. I'm matching this to the Altair Meridian Destiny. So now I'm just going to drop down so I can get a good look at all of those with the background off. And I think that looks very nice. I really like move this different angle and get a much better view of it. So I personally, I like that. That's what I'm going to go with.